This is a customized video just for you to show you how to upload photos into Joomla in a program known as Front Page Slideshow. The first thing you want to do is come to your backend administrator and put in your name and then put in your your uh, password. Now I may have changed the password so I could log in under your name so it would look just like your account. So ask me about that password later. In order to upload pictures in the front page slideshow, you want to come to Components, come down to Front Page Slideshow and click. This will show you all the photos that are in your current uh, website. They're all listed here and there's a number of pages. These check marks here means they're published. The X's means they are not published, but you can see page after page of photos that you have throughout your site many photos on your Selective Design site. If you want to preview one of the photos, all you have to do is come over to Preview and click on this and it will open up a window like so and it will show you what that photo looks like. So there's a photo that we just previewed. In order to look at the photos via category, come up to where it says Filter Categories, click on the little arrow here, I'll go down to Pools and Spas. It may not show me any to begin with because I'm on page 2, and then I'll go back to page 1 and show you what I'm talking about here. So here's page 1, and this would be all of the Pools and Spas photos that you have in your gallery under the Pools and Spas area of your website. Now, if for some reason you would like these in a different order, you can move them up and down by clicking these arrows here, up and down, or you can come in here and decide what order you want them in and renumber all of these numbers here, and when you get through to renumber them, you click on Save, that little disk there, and it will reorder those pictures in any order that you want. Now, I'm going to try to show you how to put a new picture in. The first thing to do would be to resize your photos in another program like GIMP or Picasa or uh, Adobe Elements or Photoshop. And if you go ahead and resize them, this will work a lot faster. If you don't resize them, this will still work, but it will be much slower. So in order to upload a, a new picture, you click on New, and it will open up this category area. And it will open it up in this Pools and Spas category area unless... Uh, you're on the home page and then it will open it up in whatever area uh, you would like it to. Okay, we see that we've got a place to put in information, so I'm just going to put in a test slide. I'm going to put pools and spas test. And I see the category I'm putting it under is pools and spas. I can put it under any category by clicking on this arrow. I want it to be published. I can give it a start publishing date and a finish publishing date if I only want it up there temporarily, but let's say that I want it up there for a long time, so I'm going to leave it there. And I want the groups to see it. I want everybody to be able to see it. This is an area you could type a little bit of information for your picture, but I don't like how that looks on the slideshow, so I don't use it. Uh, there's several other things you can give information on, but I skip all of that. I uncheck these buttons because I don't want it to show the title or the category or any custom text or tagline and I don't want to read more on my photos. I just want a pure good looking photo gallery. Now it says upload image. I have to browse to wherever that's at and I put most of your photos back in the Dropbox. So I'm going to find my Dropbox. I know it's under my E drive. Under personal there's bo Dropbox. And I'm going to go to Roger and Christy and I'm going to go to where it says Pools and Spas, and I'm going to grab one of these pictures. Let's just grab this one. It may be a duplicate of one we've got up there, but I'm just going to grab it for now. I don't believe it's resized. It's not. You can tell right there. It's 3504 times 2336. That's how big it is. So I am not uh, resizing it to begin with. But like I'm saying, if you want it to go faster, you need to resize it first. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to choose that and say Open. Now, if I don't limit this picture to a certain size, it's going to be huge and it's going to be out of proportion on my site. So I know in the pools and spas areas, those pictures are 650 wide. And 80% is usually good enough quality 
because uh, you don't want that picture so big that it loads slow. You want it to load fast. So now I've got everything I need right there. 650 wide, 80% quality. Now I'm going to scroll back up and I'm going to say save. Now we're going to wait just a couple of minutes because it may take uh, 60 seconds, 2 minutes, 3 minutes for uh, this to uh, upload because I have not resized it. So I'm going to pause my video and I'll tell you in just a minute how long it took to resize. Okay, I just restarted my video after about 60 to 80 seconds of waiting for it to upload and I see that my new picture has uploaded here. It says pools and spas test. I'm going to preview it and see what it looks like here and there we go that's the pools and spas that I just uploaded and it says this image has been assigned to pools and spas test so that's what the pools and spas look like it did it pretty nicely but I'm gonna go out here to your website and put in selective designs www.selectivedesigns dot com and then that way I can see what it looks like on the page once it opens up here, I will go to uh, Custom Pools, Custom Pools, and straight to Custom Pools, and let's see what it says. Okay, it's opening that picture. There it is. It shows up as a first picture, and it looks real nice. And now, if I kind of hover over any of these numbers, uh, once all the pictures load, I can I can see any of the pictures that I want to. There's other ways to set these slideshows up, but we had so many uh, uh, thumbnails, they were looking kind of disheveled and unorganized and way off the page, and so that's why I changed them to the numbers at this point. All right, that's how easy it is. Now, I'm going to show you how easy it is to delete one of these. We don't want to keep this pools and spas out there, but say for some reason I don't want to keep this. I just check it and go up here and say delete. It asks me please confirm. I say OK. And it deletes that picture out of there. I'm not sure how long it takes. It may take another 60 seconds or I may do it fast. Oh, did it pretty fast. So now that picture is gone and when I go back to your pools and spas and refresh the page that first picture should no longer be the one that you saw earlier. So let's see what the first picture is going to be now. Okay, see now the first picture is different because I deleted that other picture. Hope that helps you. Shows you how to upload it. If you're going to upload pictures to the front page, realize that I've done some special uh, uh, work on the pictures where I've actually overlaid the logo on top of the pictures and so if you upload one it probably won't have the logo on it unless you put it on it before you upload the picture also the front page pictures are 1100 pixels wide and not 650 everything else should be 650 but the front page is 1100 so I hope this helps you as far as uploading to uh, pictures to your website if you have any questions let me know thanks